So hello friends, uh, today I am going to explain you uh, about uh, one more topic of engineering mathematics that is called maxima and minima. Very important for real time application also. Uh, the procedure and what are the conditions required for maxima and minima? What are the conditions are there? It's necessary or sufficient. Everything I am going to explain in this lecture. So please watch completely. So. Suppose we have given one function y is equal to fx. So what is maxima and minima? So suppose uh, the graph of this function is look like this. So see, this is the curve of y is equal to fx. So where the function is having maximum value c at this point this is maximum what is minimum value this point this is minimum so by graph easily we come to know what is maximum what is minimum here because this is top value so that is maximum and this is lower value that's why it's a minimum value now i will uh, explain the mathematical meaning of everything suppose one function y is equal to fx given c is called stationary Point if f dash c is equal to zero. So if f dash c means differentiation of that function at this point becomes zero, then c is called a stationary point. Understand? A stationary point where f dash c becomes zero. C is called Extreme point. point. If F is either maxima or minima X. If C contains maximum value or minimum value at C, then C is called which point? Extreme point means extrema. In questions, sometimes they ask find the extreme points. Extreme points means where function is maximum or minimum. If it is point of inflection, what is point of inflection? We will see later. If it is not attaining maxima or minima at that point, we say it's not a extreme point. So extreme point you understand? What is a stationary point? You understand? Now I'm going to explain what is critical point. Critical point means where f dash c is equal to 0. So now I will explain you about how we calculate maxima minima. What is global maxima? What is global minima? Local and global both i will explain you so first i will explain local maxima and minima how local minima the procedure is very simple whatever fx given find f dash x first step find f dash x easily you can get whatever fx given differentiate and second solve f dash x is equal to 0 
what we get? We will get values of x, say x1, x2, x3, and so on. These values known as critical points. So when you uh, equate m dash x is equal to zero, definitely when you solve, you will get values of x. How many values depend on given function. So these values known as critical point. What is your third step? Third step is find f double dash x. Easily you can calculate. Already f dash x you know. So just differentiate again. You will get f double dash x. What is your fourth step? If f double dash find f double dash for each x i. What x i? This x1, x2, x3 and so on. Once you know all, if f double dash x i greater than 0, if it is positive, then x i is called minima point. Which point? Minima point. And minimum value is f at x i. If f double dash at some point becomes positive, it means that point is known as minima point. And minimum value of the function how we obtain? Just put that x i value where? In f x. If f double dash x i less than zero means less than zero, then x i is called maxima point. Which point? Maxima point. And maximum value is f of x i. If it is negative, then uh, x i is called maximum value, mean maximum point. And how we get maximum value? Just put x i in given f x. So this is that it. What happens if f double dash x i becomes zero? If f double dash x i is equal to zero, means for the investigation. Actually, it will become uh, most probably point of inflection. So, point of inflection where f double dash becomes zero and f triple dash not becomes zero. So, uh, that we will uh, see later. But here, because we are discussing about maxima and minima of the so how we calculate local maximum minimum? This is a procedure. So local maxima and minima in general lies between the interval, not at end points. For if we consider end points also, then we will go for global, means uh, absolute maxima and minima. This is the procedure to calculate local maxima and minima. Now I am going to explain global or absolute. Absolute means always bigger one. Local and global both are different things. Local means suppose uh, we are in South India and uh, local hero means uh, Vijay and other. And uh, global means uh, what Amitabh Bachchan is the global uh, actor. So in that way we can say so. This is the way how we calculate local maxima and minima. 
Now I'm going to explain you uh, global maxima and minima or absolute how we calculate. So uh, I think you noted down. continuous and differentiable then absolute maximum we can find find by choosing maximum value between this as in FTD and local maximum so first you calculate local maximum. How? You know the procedure by previous way. Then calculate end points value. FA and FP. See which one is maximum out of these three. Which one maximum that is called global or absolute maximum. Similarly, what is end? Absolute minima, we can get by choosing minimum value between this. FA, FP, and local minimum. This one. This is the procedure to calculate absolute maxima or minima or global maxima or minima. Again, don't be confused. Local means just the procedure which already I explained to you. Right. Global or local. Uh, Absolute. How we calculate? For global, we have to extend our limitation and we have to calculate n point values also. If it is defined in interval AB, then calculate at A and B. Correct? Because local lies in between. N points we not consider. But for absolute, we have to consider endpoints also. So, with that two values at endpoints and local, we can come to our conclusion which one is maximum and which one is minimum. So, the best way is you just calculate local maxima minima. First, how you know, already I explained. Once you calculate local maximum and minimum, put all together with FA and FB. It means value at the end points. Then choose which one is maximum and which one is minimum. That is your answer. That is for absolute maximum and minimum. Uh, so next I am going to explain one question. Correct? Uh, in that question I will tell you how we calculate absolute maximum and minimum but before that I will say something uh, which is important see if 
F has extreme value at C, then F dash C must be zero. It is necessary condition. Which condition? Necessary. Not sufficient conditions. It means if F dash C is equal to zero, it does not mean F has extreme value at C. Understand? It is necessary. It means only if, uh, if condition, not only if. So what is that necessary condition? If F has extreme value at C, then definitely F dash C is equal to zero. But if F dash C is equal to zero, then F has extreme value at C. It's not necessary. How we can tell? Example. Suppose F x is equal to mod x. Correct. At zero, F has minimum value. Correct. Because mod x graph value plot, it is like this. So at this point, it's minimum value. But you know very well, it is not the differentiable function. So we can't find F dash C here. This function is not differentiable, even though we can get its maxima or minima value. Understand? So please take care of this one also. One more example I will give. Suppose f x is equal to x two. So see, f dash c is equal to zero at c value zero. Correct. When c zero, what is f dash c? Zero only, na? Right? f dash x is three x square. So f dash c zero at c is equal to zero. So at c is equal to zero, f dash c zero. But c is not extrema point of this function. So even though f dash c is equal to zero, so please take care of these two concepts which are important for that. Now I am going to explain one example. How we calculate first local maxima and minima. Suppose we have given one function f x x minus one square x plus two square. Now they ask evaluate its maxima or minima value. Then how we calculate? First we have to do f dash x differentiation of this. How we do differentiation? First into second. First is same to same. Differentiation of second is how much? Two of x plus two plus second same to same. Differentiation of first means two of x minus one. For x prima, f dash x is equal to zero. So it means this value is equal to zero. So two uh, x minus one square x plus two plus two x minus one x plus two square is equal to zero. So what is common? Common is two x minus one x plus two. What is remaining? Here x minus one and here x plus two is equal to zero. So what are the points we will get? X is equal to one. X is equal to minus one and two x plus one is equal to zero. X is equal to minus half. These are the points. So these points are called critical points. So critical points are one minus two minus two. We got here three values x one, x two, x three. Now we are going to calculate the f double dash x because f double dash x only tells which one gives maxima and which one gives minima. So what is f double dash x? Already f dash x we calculated. So f double dash x means uh, first into second to so two. Outside, first same to same x plus two differentiation one only plus x plus two x plus two x minus one. 
plus 2 outside same x plus 2 square x minus 1 difference is in 1 plus x minus 1 x plus 2 this is f double del x now for each and every point of x means critical point we are going to calculate f double del x so first point is what and x is equal to what what is f double del x so 2 this is 0 3 which is 0 2 at 1 this is 0 2 plus 1 3 3 is by 9 18 which is greater than 0 it means 1 is positive means 1 is minima point correct and minimum value is which one when you put 1 what is the value 0 put 1 value here 1 minus 1 0 now at x equal to minus 2 what is minus 2 so 2 times this one definitely 0 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 square 9 minus 3 plus 2 this is 0 Please check. I think you, I forget to. So please check. Okay. 